Well, hello again. As we were saying, why should we have joy? It's interesting to notice that we're called to a life of faith. At least five times it's written in the whole scope of the Bible, Old and New Testament, that the just shall live by faith. Not by feelings, but by trusting the Word of God, acting on the Word of God. We have not literally seen Jesus with our eyes, but we have believed according to the scripture. You know, and that makes the whole life a life of faith. From that initial input, faith of God is put into our spirits and we have that nature to believe God. We're called believers. And so, you know, there's going to be a challenge from the natural realm, from our senses constantly wanting some proof to feel, to touch, you know, rather than to just step out and believe God just because the word said so. But that's the demand and the benefit of being a new creature. Because I'm a believer now. We are believers. So we are guaranteed to believe God because that's our nature. The rest, we just have to act on what we believe. You know, there's this scripture in First Peter, I believe it's verse 8, where he says, Whom having not seen, Notice that, whom having not seen, you love, Amen. or we love. In whom though now we see him not, yet believing, we rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Notice that there is, you know, a joy unspeakable and full of glory. <laughs> even though we have not seen him, even though we have not touched him and felt him physically like that, you know, we rejoice with joy unspeakable, full of glory. Amen. So uh, this is our life. This is not just one day that you just get saved and you just go, Woo, hallelujah, woo. <laughs> no, this is a daily thing, you amen, know, amen. where you serve him, you live for him with joy, amen. you know. And uh, I'm glad that one can make that little adjustment. It's a small adjustment. You know? I'm reminded of a certain character who used to uh, act out movie roles. He was a comic type of guy. And he used to get so caught up with each character that he would forget uh, the previous character mm -hmm. and become that person, you know? He's a famous comedian and he would just follow that role and become that person, mm -hmm. you know? In fact, that was so strong with him that he finally uh, forgot who he was. And Time Magazine, I think it's 1980 or so, had his face on the, on the cover and he said, who is this man? Mm. And he had become kind of uh, lost somewhere in the character, you know? But as I think upon it, I remember that's the Christian, that's the believer. You're supposed to be lost in that character, Amen. that you acted it so well if you forgot the old man and you know the old man is dead the old creature is passed away the old man died when jesus hung on the cross the old man died there also and he got buried you know and when jesus rose the new man rose hallelujah so we are supposed to actually act on this role it's an act the whole believer thing is an act you have to act you have to put on things. You have to put on the, the overalls of that role, you know, putting on love, putting on faith, yes. the breastplate of righteousness. All these things have to be put on, the helmet of faith, I mean, a helmet of salvation. You know, we have to act. So nobody should feel guilty that they're acting. Mm. The only thing is you're acting a true role. You're acting the scripture, you know. So I need to act. When I act like I'm healed, the healing manifests. Amen. When I act like I'm prosperous, the prosperity manifests. Because Jesus paid for it, Jesus expects me to believe and act like it. Mm. So I don't talk poor, I don't act poor, you know, I don't act sick, I don't talk sick, amen? Which is toxic, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I act <coughs> blessed, yeah. I act healed, yeah. I act like, things are working Amen. and that's why I rejoice. Amen. Amen. So, um, you know, that little, sometimes one has to learn to flick that switch. Yes. Uh, believers 
will have to be able to flick that switch, whether they feel it or not. Ha ha ha. Hallelujah. I rejoice because I believe, because he paid the price, because I'm right with God. We have to make that little, you know, flick of the switch. The, the switch of faith has to be put on, you know, and we have to just act on it. And then eventually, guess what happens? It catches up with you and it flows out of you and you start rolling on the floor with joy and people think you're crazy meanwhile you're just acting and enjoying the outpouring of the joy of God you know sometimes you may feel skeptical about it you may feel condemned about it you may wonder what's all this business that they're talking about that you should be joyful and you should laugh and you know but it's a faith proposition it starts by faith just like you accepted Jesus without seeing you believed him and you love him and you rejoice Amen. with joy unspeakable full of glory amen yeah. would you like to say something along those lines I mean the same verse that you read yeah it says whom having not seen yeah you believe yeah so that's something uh, uh, you know we read the book of John chapter 20 yeah. Thomas comes and says you know I want to put my finger on your Holes, yes. I want to touch it physically, yeah. then I will believe. That's not the believing that is talked about in in First Peter. Yes, it's, a, it's Jesus says, you know, blessed are those who have not yet seen and yet believed. Yeah. So you don't need any proof yeah. of healing yeah. for you to rejoice about healing. Amen. All you need is a word that says you are healed. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know. So and and the moment you believe it, they believe. Uh, you know, believing is a verb it, it is something has to do with action action if yeah. you're not acting you're not believing that's right <laughs> it's just faith inside you yeah and faith without works is death yeah so the believing always has some action and here amazingly it says here uh you know yet believing you rejoice with joy i yeah. mean how clear can that be <laughs> you rejoice with, with joy, joy. <laughs> Amen. hallelujah Amen. so you believe and when you believe there is an action yes and and if you don't believe you're going to get messed up that's mm -hmm. right your problems are not going to change you're going to be staying in the same soup yeah. you are in that's but right. if you want to change something if you want some change to happen in what you're experiencing you have to believe God that's right and and you need the power of God there mm -hmm. and 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 you bring the power of God when you believe you permitting him you welcoming his power yeah and and one of the proof that you're believing is that you're rejoicing over that that you're so convinced that God has done it yeah. and 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 the way you express so clearly the Bible is explaining you rejoice with joy Amen. <laughs> I, I like that verse Amen. Or, you know definition somebody said about rejoicing it says rejoicing one of the meaning is to continue to release joy Amen. that you're like <laughs> <laughs> I, I like mean, that. there is no stop. <laughs> Continue to release. Continue stop. to rejoice. And Philippians 4 says, rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Amen. There is no uh, limit. There is no stopping. In interval there. Nothing. Yeah. It's a continuous command. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and and, and uh, though he says, thou shall rejoice, it's not written like that. <laughs> yeah. That's actually for the new believer. Amen. And and like you said, this is the script that we have to act yes. on. Amen. And Amen. it is so amazing if that man could lose himself in that character role. Yes. And, and but what if we lose ourselves in the character yes. God has put inside us? Yes. Amen. Yes. And we, we will forget who we were that's right what background we came from amen. but we will become just like who he created us to be amen. born again righteous holy amen. joyful peaceful amen. not worried about a thing amen but experiencing the glory the provision the prosperity the success the victory amen. if we step into this role so there's benefit in rejoicing yes, yes. we're going to see the glory of god amen, amen. amen. and so what you're releasing it's not just sounds. <laughs> Amen. You know, it's actually something glorious is Amen. happening. Amen. Yes. So it's full of glory. It's full of so glory. this action has got glory in it. Amen. Yeah. And 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 when the righteous rejoice, there's, there's great, great glory. glory. Yes. <laughs> I mean, faith in the word of God is like a magnet. Yeah. You know, because the word says rejoice forevermore, and you are rejoicing because what God's word says, 
and it's a magnet that draws in all the blessings and favor and the manifestation of prosperity healing Amen. because you're basing it on God's word and you're acting Ooh. you're acting not you're not being a hypocrite yeah this is who you really are yes like pastor was saying put on Christ put Amen. on love Amen. those natures in our born-again spirit now what is on the inside we bring it outside Amen. And because of God's word we are putting it on Amen. and by faith when we do that it's like a magnet that Amen. draws every blessing into us you know it's like Amen. we are going to enjoy ever more because rejoice ever more so the more <laughs> you know it's like you know escalating ever increasing Amen. and you're going to see ever increasing blessing manifestation Amen. all that he has paid for Amen. it's already done yeah. it's deposited in our account yeah. so we're just rejoicing and just collecting 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 Glory. collecting amen, amen. the joy amen um that reminds me of john 4 you know where jesus is explaining some things there he says that if you're a believer there's a well inside you i think it's verse 14 Hallelujah. there's a well of salvation that springs up within you onto eternal life imagine every believer having a well inside there you know back in our hometown back in Kerala, there's a well, you know, which I enjoyed when I was young. I used to go out to that well and uh, just fetch a bucket of that water and used to taste so good. And I would just toss it on myself, you know, and just douse myself with that water and drink from that, that same bucket, you know, and ah, it was so nice. You know, if you have a well, it takes care of the house needs, you know, every need can be settled by that well you know so he says every believer has a well inside him and whatever you need for the believer and his family is in that well and uh, the, the only thing missing is that there has to be a bucket to bring the water out <laughs> and so in Isaiah 12 I think is in verse 3 he says with joy you draw out of the wells of salvation Hallelujah. so yes. the bucket is joy to yeah. bring out the salvation uh, fluids, you know, the benefits of our salvation, the the near or the waters, Amen. you know, inside there that you can enjoy <laughs> should be brought out. Otherwise, every believer has a well inside them, but they're not bringing out the stuff. You know, they're not bringing out the benefit of that salvation. You know, they're not enjoying the healing, the wholeness, the soundness, the protection, the deliverance. You know all these things the preservation but if you put that bucket inside called joy and bring out these things it'll start to overflow Amen. and you know you will experience it so let's get our buckets of joy and Hallelujah. put it inside Woo-hoo! there and Go. laugh and rejoice about what God has done and pull out the waters be satisfied in every area Amen. of our life Amen. 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 So. Uh, we need to be reminded every now and then. Put the bucket in, man. Yeah. Draw out. Why are you complaining? Why are you murmuring? You know, why are you just looking at the problems? Why are you fellowshipping with your problems? Why don't you take from that well? Use joy as your bucket. Bring it out. God said it is your bucket. You know, we'll have to keep reminding ourselves. Otherwise, the problems of daily life can be so overwhelming. Yes. But thank God we have a well inside. You know, and the greater one is inside. And everything we need for life and godliness and victory Mm. is on the inside. And we can draw it out, you know. So we need to, I believe, rejoice always because you can keep pulling out everything. You know, drawing out again and again. So when the enemy says you're going to die, you have this terminal problem, you have this sickness, just say, (laughs) 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 Hallelujah. (laughs) I believe in what God has done. I believe what Jesus has done. I choose to believe. Amen. And so devil, ha, 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 ha. I rejoice. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, there's this scripture, I believe is in Psalm 2. Would you like to tell us about it? Just (laughs) very interesting. I think it's in the fourth verse or so. Yes, you know, uh, we'll read that scripture. (laughs) (laughs) Glory. Hallelujah. Let's read that scripture. (laughs) Hallelujah. Amen. (laughs) <laughs> hallelujah amen. glory to god amen <laughs> i'm trying to find that scripture yeah. there it is <laughs> he says he that sits in the heavens 
shall laugh, Amen. the Lord shall have them in derision. So Amen. if you read that scripture, <laughs> yes. you know, before and after, there's all kinds of things are in against God's people. Yeah. But he says, the one who sits in yeah. the heavens. See, God is never running around. Amen. He's always sitting. sitting. It's, it's a place of power. Amen. It's a place of position. Yeah. Yeah. And in Christ, he raised you up and made you to sit with him in the heavenly Amen. places. So you are actually a seated person. Yes. But your mind is running around your because of where you're sitting your mind in. and because of that your body is also running around that's right <laughs> you know and you can do n number of things and not accomplish one thing yeah but uh, you know like you said pastor joy is like a shortcut yeah to your problem mm. and it's actually the wisdom of god yes and 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 he says you know the counsel in the heart of man is like deep waters a man of understanding shall draw it, draw out. it out so yes. from that so this is an understanding yeah. that you know we are speaking and if you get this understanding, you have wisdom Amen. to operate. And when you act in wisdom, instead of going around and touching the nose, you will just touch the nose <laughs> like this. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, so here, the the one who created everything, at the at the problems that you are facing, he's sitting there and he's laughing. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> Amen. And and in Ephesians says, be imitators of God as dear children. Amen. So if you and it says that word imitate means to mimic. No, mimic. Like we have That's mimicry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> mimicry. Exactly. So they just keep saying whatever you know this character says. He just mimics exactly, and they say, oh, he sounds the same like the other guy. Just like him. Yeah. We are to mimic God. We Amen. are to mimic our Father. Amen. And what is He doing? He is sitting there and laughing. Amen. <laughs> so if you want to mimic Him, we'll be like, <laughs> that's 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 scriptural. That's the exact uh, script that you have to act. And and you, if you want to be too technical, you can just sit nicely and say, because <laughs> on the throne, exactly, you're on the throne. Amen. You are re you're rejoicing. Amen. You're mimicking. Yes. And you're now mimicking it to your problem Amen. with your daddy. That's right. You're joining hands with your daddy. So you're agreeing with God. You're making your thoughts as high as his thoughts. Yes. And, and you're agreeing with him. You're bringing your emotions under what he is saying. Yes. And you are acting on what he is saying. And you're just imitating and say, I'm not bothered. Amen. 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 They are doing this. They are saying this. Doctors are saying this. My bank islands is saying this. Uh, you know, these people are saying this. They are doing, trying to do these things. But I am sitting with my father Amen. and I am acting. I am acting. I am imitating. Amen. Just like my father. Yes. And, and, and it's not just one place that he's, you know, it says that he is doing this. Yeah. You know, we have at least three reference in, in the Old Testament itself yeah. that he says, you know, he's sitting there laughing at our enemies. Amen. So if we have to follow God yeah. or imitate God, you know, when we follow, we follow somebody's footsteps. footsteps you know, yes. If you're doing our own, we are not following. Mm -hmm. But if you're following God, if you're following Jesus, and if you're in that way, yeah. this is what we have to follow. Amen. Follow your father. Yeah. Jesus said, whatever I see my father do, I see, I do. whatever I see, I, that's what I do. Amen. So Jesus must be a very happy person. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Because father is sitting there and laughing. Amen. He he must be sitting there and laughing and that's why everybody came to him yeah he was not like a mean Grumpy, tough guy mean and and so traditional yeah and, <laughs> and that you know that nobody can even approach him yeah you know he's not like that yeah, yeah. jesus loves righteousness and Amen. hates iniquity Amen. right yeah. so if we love righteousness and hate iniquity we will have the same effect Amen. that jesus has Amen. Amen. so if you're not joyful that means I think something is wrong with that equation. Yes. Yeah. They may be loving iniquity yeah. <laughs> and hating righteousness. Yes. Yes. Otherwise, this plus this equals this. Amen. You know, so you love righteousness, you hate iniquity, and equals joy unspeakable, full of glory. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. So, you know, if if one were to accept these things and say, Okay, I am born from above, I'm like my father. <laughs> I can act like him. I should copy him. He's laughing at my enemies. Yeah, notice that we don't even see our enemies. Yes. We perceive yes. this guy's my enemy, that guy's my enemy, but actually our enemies are spirit beings yes. Yes. speaking through people, yeah. acting through people, sitting on people's shoulders, telling them things. Yeah. And we don't even see our enemies. Yes. We just assume these enemies. Yeah. And God sees everything and he laughs at our enemies because he knows the enemy is wasting his time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a defeated foe. Yes. Yes. And 
It's like who can dare to stand against you when God is on your side? Ooh, Glory. Yeah. So he laughs at our enemies, you know, and he says, why don't you laugh like me? <laughs> laugh at the enemy. And that, I believe, confuses the enemy and frustrates the enemy. <laughs> he wants to see you biting your nails and pulling your hair and having a nervous breakdown and, you know, just wrecking your life because you're worried and scared. But you're laughing? What? You know, that's a new turn. And he knows the power of that. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. So I believe that we just have to renew ourselves to thinking like this constantly, Amen. especially in the, the days where we live, where it looks like there's so much oppression, so much problem, so much uh, danger out there constantly. And God sent us for this time. God sent us to the last days. He didn't send us the days of the pyramids and camels <laughs> and all that. He sent us to the time of cell phones and, yeah. you know, uh, all of that stuff. So no matter what's out there, we can laugh, yeah. we can rejoice, nothing should affect you. What's on the inside of us will affect the world, Amen. Yes. not the world pushing us and squeezing us and, you know, uh, ridding us of every ounce of life. Amen. We will rejoice. It is our reflex. We will act that way. Amen. Amen. I was thinking about this movie, yeah. Cinderella Man. Yes. Remember that we like that scene. Yeah. I mean, he got like majorly punched. Yeah. And uh, he lost his uh, gum guard or his tooth guard. You know, it flew off. Hmm. And then he goes and he picks it up, puts it back in his mouth, and he goes, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> that laugh that he yeah. did there. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that was that, just super. Yeah. You know, and we should. That, yeah. that just. You know, frustrates the enemy. Yes. When you've been hit this way and that way, and you're still laughing at him, he's like, "Whoa!" Yeah. And you he know? wins. That and he game. wins. And it's a true story. Amen. It is based on some boxer back in those days of the depression in the 30s. Yeah. So you you have to be able to do this because you're a believer. You're not faking it. Yeah. It's the truth. As a believer, we believe. So I, I'm challenging anyone who's watching out there to look in the scripture, observe these things and see whether what we're saying is true or what God is saying is true. And then simply act on it. Take the scripture as it is written and just go for it. You know, Paul, I think, suffered more than any other person I know. Um, and in his letter to the Philippians, which you know is in the New Testament, was written from prison. History says that he was in the, the sewage of that city. He was kept deep in there all the way up to his neck in human waste. Kept in the low dungeons, hanging from the wall, back all bruised, and in the human waste. That's where the sewage used to go. And it is from there he was writing saying, Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always. Amen. And again I say rejoice. You know, so the power of rejoicing in the midst of all of that is what we're talking about. That's, that's the strength that comes. That's what releases us from these lying things. So today, whatever challenge you're going through, stand with us, believe with us, and take a step of faith and rejoice. Get excited about what God said, rather than what you are feeling, what you're going through. You know, I like the fact that prayers are written you know, saying that we should rejoice. For instance, in Colossians 1, from the ninth verse, uh, Paul gives this prayer to the church. That means to all of us, not just to Colossian believers. He says there that they'd be filled with the knowledge of His will, in all wisdom, spiritual understanding, to walk in a manner worthy of Him, fully pleasing Him. And then he goes on to saying, increasing in the knowledge of Him, strengthened, with mighty power, unto all patience, long suffering, with joyfulness. Notice that strengthened with all mighty power, to all patience, long suffering, with joyfulness. How can long suffering and joyfulness go together? <laughs> you know, how can you be long suffering and joyful together? You see, this is not a natural thing. Yeah. This is from the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. God's a uh, heart is revealed in a prayer. The Bible says, if you ask according to His will, 
you know he will hear you because you're asking according to the will. So a prayer given by the Holy Spirit is the will of God. Amen. This is the will of God, that you be filled with the knowledge of his will and therefore you will have long suffering and joyfulness. Mm -hmm. So long suffering means you're dealing with people's problems and you are not exploding. Instead, you are rejoicing. Mm -hmm. You know, when you had some serious people problems, you may just explode and lose it in, you know, self-explode, you know, self-destruct mode. But here you can rejoice, you know. Uh, we, we get these temptations every now and then, you know, and thank God you can go for the mercy of God. <laughs> <laughs> and he will tell you, go back and go. suffer long with joy. <laughs> with joy. Amen. <laughs> so, and, and it will pay off Amen. because it's God's heart. And, you know, uh, sometimes I have used that mission where, uh, you know, your faith saves you and preaching saves, you know. I, I would just be in a situation, I'm, I'm a real fix. I would have caused some kind of trouble and I would preach right there and things would turn around you know i i knew that only god could deliver me there you know and god saves you because he cares and he knows what you are actually uh, about you know and if you're ready to repent no matter what has happened the joy of the lord will be your strength again and you can just go on as though nothing happened because when god forgives he forgets he doesn't remember that's the thing about god people don't forget but he forgets. When he forgives, he forgets. He will not hold it against you. So I have taken a lot of time to go up to God and say, forgive me. And I'm glad he has forgotten also. Amen. And so one day when you stand in front of him, he'll say, what are you talking about? I don't remember. Hallelujah. Amen. The blood of Jesus cleanses you completely from all unrighteousness. So all that is left is righteousness. So take time. To, to go to him with anything that is disturbing you and tell him, Lord, forgive me. I don't know. This thing is on my case constantly. Forgive me. And when he forgives, he forgets. And he is faithful to forgive. He is faithful to cleanse. And he will not remember that anymore. And so you can go ahead as though nothing happened. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, you can just go on as though nothing happened. Men may not forget, but thank God, the person who forgives and forgets is our father and you can always use it as an opportunity to go back to the people and tell them you know I messed up you know uh, I'm sorry and that speaks to them and that ministers to them and joy comes back you know and you're all restored yes. amen there are going to be opportunities in these last days to do that again and again you know maybe you've been through some situations your heart is so hurt and your emotions are all messed up but it's all right. Go tell them. Go talk to them. Let it go. Release it. If it's God you need to talk to, go to Him. And then if it's people, go to them. Because he that serves God in joy is accepted with men also and approved of God too. So it works with people and with God also. Go there. Make it up. Settle the situation and go back into the joy of the Lord. You are blessed. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching Word of His Grace broadcast. We are a church, a family with the mandate to build you up in the Word and Spirit so that you can touch the world around you. We have our Sunday services in Bangalore at Kannuru, at Shantinagar and at Betrana Durdi. The address and the time of service are as displayed on the screen. Every Wednesday we have an in-depth study of the Word from 7.30pm onwards at our Kannuru branch. We have intercessory prayer, fasting prayer and prayer pockets that happen around the city. Kindly write to us at info at gracechapel.org.in for any prayer request or to be a part of this prayer movement. All our messages are available free of cost on our podcast, Word of His Grace. Do remember to click the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. For any further information, please write to us at info at gracechapel.org.in. You are blessed. <laughs>